Oh boys, here we go. Welcome back to Spokane Valley Archery for a beautiful episode of Take Down Dan. I've been looking for like a target site set up that wasn't going to break the bank because I want to be ready for tack. Have just like a target, like a smaller housing. I just want to go smaller housing to really dial it in and kind of do ABT. So come along, we're going to go find MFJJ and I think we've got a solution. It's going to be cool. Stop below what like say about six. the size of the ranch? Size of the ranch. That's how right. you use it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do we call a tiny ranch like that? A lot of effort. <laughs> hey, dude, well, welcome a... back. This is MFJ. You guys have met him before. What's up? I'm dropping stuff. Don't mind me. Risers tend to need a little pre tappage a lot of times. There's burrs in them, and we're just going to run this through here before this we This is Forrest. Hello, friends. Forrest is. He loves talking to the camera. I feel like that's really close. <laughs> 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 Always is, yeah. yeah. Guys, we're we're dialing it in here. Josh, tell us, give them a little preview of what we got going on here. Uh, putting a more of a target site on Tim's bow. This is a, we got a B3 exact in today that, and we've had uh, oh we got about ten of those ultra view scopes in. We're gonna put something a little more precise on his bow so he can set things just a little bit more accurately when every point counts. Yeah, yeah, I, I should, course, I should right? probably just go home. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty clean connection. You're trying to find stuff that fits an ultra view scope without. A whole bunch of other hardware there's only a couple of options out there really you can use a fast eddie xl double pin set up and buy the whole site and then take the head off it and put that on there and then some uh, additional hardware which we actually went to the hardware store and bought a bunch of different stuff to be able to bolt those together and we're probably going to offer those uh, already built on our website for those that want them this uh exact b3 is a bit of a target site it has a adjustable rail where the fast eddie xl does not and it is already the right dimension for the ultra view head it's straight square pops right on doesn't need any additional parts and they're 350 bucks so out of what's available out there right now that i know of which obviously i'm sure there's something i missed or i'm not aware of it's the only thing you can buy and actually get in a timely fashion that use that scope that isn't back ordered or backlogged so something to think about if that's your goal piece of equipment to use is that uh, ultra view head don't get me wrong a landslide would be great to have but good luck finding one that's actually in the world and available and i think there's like a difference in price point too right Oh, there is, but a landslide without a head on it is actually really similar in price. Grand, you have to have the right dowel from UltraView to pop the two together. So you're going to spend a similar amount of money on a landslide if you could get one. Three. If Three times I dropped that. If you could actually get a landslide without a head on it. Now, you can buy one with a head on it, but then you're going to pay way more. You're going to pay $400 to $500 for one that's got a head on it. And then you're going to buy the UltraView scope. And then you're going to buy the extra UltraView dowel, which is like $40. So it adapts to that site yeah. where this guy Zach b3 that's their head that's their dowel that's an ultra view head fits perfectly no additional cost and it's got a micro windage and a, a rail up and down that's uh, gear driven i mean this is a good little setup as much as I, I hate to say this is an economy option for this ridiculously expensive setup this is actually probably the most cost effective way to put this together with any kind of precision just so you know it's kind of interesting that you're just like, hey, I have a B3 site because when we were talking with Joel Turner, like a couple of the things he likes, or I believe Bodhi shot at Vegas was a B3 release. Yeah. I, I don't remember, but sure. it just got me thinking about B3 and I hopped on the website the other day, browsed around a little bit and it seemed like they had some pretty interesting products. So it's something I, I'm kind of interested to like learn more about it. And I would as well like to mess around or see some of their releases at least. It's the original people from Scott, from what I understand, that because mm. uh, they sold Scott to uh, Elite or the out oh, what sorry outdoor group. outdoor group, thank you. And they're the people that originally started. I think they also have some broadheads. They have a whole bunch of different stuff. Whereas before they only made releases. It's kind of similar to there. So we're um, keeping this kind of close. Yeah, to start, you know, if you need to move it in or out to try to frame your peep a little better. If you're in between peep sizes, that is a commonality to have to move it out. But I always like to get it as close to my eye as possible. And then if we need to change it, we'll move it out or change the peep size ideally. But the closer to your hand, the less you miss by on torque. And I really do like having the bottom uh, pin option. Gives you another 15 yards, it's, give or take. To me, pin what I call that is like an oh shit option. Like I'm not That's going exactly to. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot my top pin, center peep, or center pin, center housing. I like that a lot. Say oh shit happened 
it, it at least gives you a reference point. And then the bottom of the tape too, so you can extend the bottom of the tape a little bit, which is cool. For sure. Gives you a couple of options that you don't necessarily get with everything else, unfortunately. So yeah. it's always good. Here to use. Master String Builder, Nolan. What's, What's up? up, dude? Who are you betting on Nolan for tack this year? Who's all going again? <laughs> what, me, Josh, Jake, Dan. You or Josh? <laughs> really? Yeah. Dude, how about that? I just got Wild Bill on video the other day saying, Josh is the favorite. Do you remember <laughs> that? We're like, who's going to win, Bill? And he's like, oh, I'd, I'd bet on. I'd bet on my new boyfriend, Josh. Yeah, well, yeah. We, uh, there we, was some bonding going there, on. There was a little, tell. we were frenemies there at first, but yeah, we, it's a pretty good time, man. Bill's yeah. a cool dude. He's very smart. Yeah. And level, level, level. Okay, let's review this. Rock and roll. Needs to always understand. So we start level here mm -hmm. in, in the vice. Yeah, we get the string level. You get that level, you put your level on your rail and adjust your rail to where it reads level and then you look at your scope head and make sure it lines up with your rail. And all three of those things do. So then you can go back Did and tighten all your screws. At all? Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. I just do it really fast because I do it a lot. Go back and make sure all your windage screws, so the, the individual head adjustment screws are up here, so you're gonna make sure those are tight. You've got your lock knob for your windage. You loosen there and lock knob for your up and down. You loosen there and you are ready to play, my man. Wow. Let's see what your left to right looks Super like. Fun. Well, when you integrate through that, most things line up pretty square because they know they're building it for that. So let's see here. Left to right, that's pretty close. Down, and I have, where's your sight that we took off? I want to see how high the head pin was. So that's your 20. Your pin is a little below the mounting screw. So we want to try to end up about there to start. And that pin is quite a bit above the mounting screw. Because if you look at where this, come here. So if you go from a direct mount to the integrate, it's not going to line up the same because it's not in the middle of here. So you're actually moving the site up higher. So most sites are going to end up having to go down quite a bit. So we're going to have to reset that rail because we're going to take that off and drop it down a set of holes. Because if you look at these back here, there's a whole bunch to give right. you extra range. And we want to optimize your range because this rail isn't giant. want to make sure you can get the full distance out of this site. So you can shoot those 120s and 130s and not run out of room. We'll relevel it here in a second. Yeah, and you'll be glad to know that I'm thinking pretty hard, actually, after watching some video of our arrows arcing. Probably you go with the lead arrow for tech. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah. Start taking it serious, start paying attention to stuff, and all of a sudden these arrows are too heavy and slow. Yeah, I, I just watched myself and Dan and Jake and I, we all shot side by side, and my arrow arc was double Jake's probably. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Yeah, which is unnecessary, because I do have time after attack to reset everything back up. Yeah. This is the full core press. This is like, uh, we're not pulling out. It's unlike Donkey Kong, man. Yeah, it's unlike it's Donkey Kong, Jack. Back at it. And our pin is now about in line with that. So that should be really close when you shoot at 20 and you still have some room to go up. So that's perfect. Cool. You may now shoot your new sight, sir. Take down Dan. Getting there. A little bit right. Give me that line. Give me that line. Give me that line. So on that last one, I aimed right there. I wanted to go center, center, just to have like, you know, nice little pattern there. Damn close, man. So things pretty clean. Thank you. See that I'm holding the camera too far. <laughs> I know he's multifaceted. I'm getting better at this. That one's dead center X. This is the full court. Damn. This is the <laughs> this is the full court press. We basically all pulling out all stops. All stops, buddy. Tinkering with some different yeah, arrows. Now we just need some lighter arrows. Better arrows, yeah. 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 <laughs> Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the view. Thanks for hanging out. Go subscribe to this guy. He's got a channel. Doing a thing or two. And Check I, it out. And I'm on his supervision. We're going to clean it up. He's going to be making the best knowledge for sure. <laughs> uh, a little more quality, a little more information. Subscribe to both. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you back for the next one. This thing is really clean. It's a really good look.
Not a lot of weight, not a lot of mass for a target setup. It's really pretty incredible.